Hello, this video is about how to use a calculator to do math problems using scientific notation. There are many ways to type scientific notation on a calculator. You could type 5 times 10 to the 9th, right? And you can get an answer that way. But I strongly recommend using one of these two buttons. Some calculators have an EE button, other calculators it says EXP, and that means times 10 to the. So here's how we're going to do this math problem. I'm going to type 3, and then times 10 to the, I'm going to press EE, which is on the second function here. So second EE, and I see an E on the calculator screen, 12. 3 E 12 means 3 times 10 to the 12th, divided by 6 second EE, negative 3. On this calculator, negative and minus are different buttons. We need negative. Equals, and it gives us our answer in scientific notation, equals 5 times 10 to the 14th power. So that's our answer. Let's do this on this calculator. This calculator has an EE button without the second feature, which is nice. So I'm going to type 3 EE 12. That means 3 times 10 to the 12th. This is how it's displayed on this calculator. It looks like 3 to the 12th, but it's not. It's 3 times 10 to the 12th. Divided by 6 EE negative 3 equals, and I get the same answer, it looks like 5 to the power of 14, but it's written like this, 5 times 10 to the 14th. One more trick I want to show you is how to display numbers in regular or scientific notation. Let's say you have a number like 652, and I want to convert that to scientific notation. Up here it says SCI, that means scientific notation. So I have an answer, and I'm going to press second SCI, scroll over to SCI for scientific, hit enter, and now it's displaying my answer in scientific notation. No matter what the number is, even if I type 1, it will give me that answer in scientific notation. 0 0.5 gives me the answer in scientific notation. If I want to undo this, see how it says SCI over here, go back to regular, I press second SCI again, and go back to float, which just means regular notation. And there's my 0 0.5, just like normal. I can do the same thing over here, 652 equals, uh, it says SCI here above the number 5, so I'm going to press second SCI, and now it's scientific notation, 652 times 10 to the second power. I can go back to float, second float, and now it's back to standard notation, 652. The key to doing calculator problems like this is using the EE button instead of typing out times 10 to the whatever exponent. Thank you for watching.